Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to the 12th DCTV 23 weekly show update on COVID-19. That's right, 12 shows we've done to help bring you the latest information on COVID-19 and how it impacts Douglas County citizens. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist, Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Per guidelines from the Health Department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. Rick, do you have an update on cases in Douglas County? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. According to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of June 25th, Douglas County has 793 confirmed cases and sadly 35 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to send out sincere condolences to the families affected by the tragedy. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline at the beginning of this pandemic with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone directly, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. We would like to reiterate that Cobb and Douglas Public Health has moved its testing site from Hunter Park to Douglas County Public Health Center on Solomon Drive. This drive-through site is free and open Monday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Also, as of June 24th, Cobb and Douglas Public Health has tested over 3,200 people. Remember, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. To make an appointment for testing, visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral. Individuals who arrive without pre-approved number, without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Cobb and Douglas Public Health would also like to remind everyone that they are now doing contact tracing. Therefore, if someone is contacted by Cobb and Douglas Public Health and notified as a contact to a case, they should go to the new testing site on Selman Drive to be tested. There's a chance if you go somewhere else, it may not be free. Douglas County Commission Chair Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones is launching a new communication campaign to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. The message is clear, wear a mask. Douglas County residents should wear a mask or face covering while in public. You should expect to see visuals from this campaign in the next 30 days on billboards and signs around the county. Also, the chairman and board of commissioners announced plans to reopen some of the Douglas County government facilities under specific conditions. These facilities include the Transportation Center, which reopened this past Monday, June 22nd, Boundary Waters Aquatic Center reopening on Monday, June 29th, and all libraries reopening on Monday, July 6th. For more information, you can read the full press release on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. Thank you, Lena. On Wednesday, July 1st, American Red Cross will be hosting a blood drive at the Douglas County Courthouse from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m in Citizens Hall. This blood drive is by appointment only. I say it again, it's by appointment only. To schedule an appointment, please visit redcrossblood.org and use the sponsor code DC Courthouse. Also, the blood donations collected will be tested for COVID-19 antibodies. These results are expected to be available seven to 10 days after the donation on the blood donor app or the website, which is again, redcrossblood.org. District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III and District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen are hosting a free food giveaway on July 3rd, starting at 2 p.m. at the American Legion Post 145, located off of Veterans Memorial Highway. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, all citizens must remain in their cars. For more information on this event, contact Tamara Mitchell at tmitchell at co.douglas.ga.us. As we continue to navigate through this coronavirus pandemic, Douglas County Commission Chair Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones wishes to remind citizens of the importance of wearing face coverings when in public. 
While an increase in testing results in more positive tests, there is evidence of a community spread. Wearing a mask and face coverings help in minimizing the spread of the virus. There has been a noticeable decline in people wearing masks as the coronavirus pandemic continues. So please follow state public health and CDC guidelines to help in slowing the spread of the virus. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.